Hello everyone, I am Devan Shamarvi and I am going to explain how an IP packet is delivered to a mobile phone. So first of all, we will see some terms that we will be using in this video. First comes CN, that is correspondent node. Correspondent node is a node which, deliver, which wants to deliver or wants to send the IP packet. And the receiver of that IP packet is mobile node, ML. And home network, home network is a network where mobile node, is, mobile node resides. There can be several uh, many mobile nodes that can reside in that home network and the current location of all the mobile nodes stores home agent. So home agent is a router which stores the current location of all the mobile nodes. Then foreign agent. Foreign agent uh, is also a router which stores the current location of all the mobile nodes coming from a different network. And foreign network. Foreign network is any network other than home network. Then uh, there is uh, internet care of address care of address is what care of address is a temporary address assigned to a mobile node when it moves from home network to the foreign network now let's start the ppt we have two scenarios first one is when mobile node is in its home network and second comes uh, when mobile node moves from one network to another network another network that is foreign network so first we will see the first situation <coughs> when mobile node is in its home network only so when mobile node is, is in its home network correspondent node directly sends the packet then packet goes to home network and in home network home again checks that whether <coughs> that mobile node is in its home network only or it has been on to the another network now since home network is in uh, sorry mobile node is in its home network so home agent by checking its address will send that ip packet coming from the correspondent node to the mobile node so this, this is the first scenario when the mobile node was in the home network itself now the problem comes when mobile node is moving and by moving it has been gone to the other network other than home network that is foreign network here is the diagram of how mobile IP worked. In this diagram, uh, whatever terms we discussed earlier are there, like correspondent node, CN, home agent, home network, uh, mobile node, care of address, foreign agent, and this is foreign network, where and this is the mobile node coming from home agent to foreign, home network to foreign network. Now this whole slide is PPT is based on when the mobile node is not in its home network but it has been moved to the foreign network. Now we will see how correspondent node will transfer the IP packet and how mobile node will receive that packet. So in mobile IP packet delivery, mobile node must not be visible to the correspondent node. The correspondent node CN wants to send an IP packet to the ML. According to CN, as per the knowledge of CN, the mobile node is in home network, but it, but actually it has been moved to the another network. Now, what will happen? The correspondent node CN wants to send an IP packet to the ML. And one of the requirements of mobile IP was to support hiding the mobility of ML. It means that uh, when while mobile net node is moving from one network to another so it not it should not be visible to the correspondent node correspondent node does not need to know anything about the ml's current location this is the current location of ml and it sends the packet as usual to the ip address of ml cn uh, has a ip packet and in the, uh, this ip packet there is an address of the mobile node, IP address of the mobile node, on which CN wants to deliver that packet. It means that correspondent node CN sends an IP packet with MN as destination address and CN as the source address. This is internet. The whole transfer of data packet uh, between CN, correspondent node and mobile node is done through internet by using some standard routing mechanism of the internet. So while delivering a packet from correspondent node, internet have no information on the current location of the mobile node. So it routes the packet 
to the router that is home agent uh, for the home network of mobile mode and then home network home agent receives that packet from corresponding mode and it sees now home agent sees that mobile mode now is not in its home network it has been moved to the mobile uh, it has been moved to the foreign network now knowing that uh, mobile node is not in, in the home network so the packet coming from correspondent node is intercepted by the home agent in the home network knowing the ml is currently not in its home network now the packet uh, which has been uh, intercepted by home agent is not forwarded into the subnet means it is not forwarded for it's not forwarded to the whole location of the mobile node in the subnet but it is encapsulated and tunneled to the care of address there are some more terms like encapsulation tunneling and decapsulation we will learn about or we will know about these terms in the end of the lecture now when the that ip packet to be delivered to mobile node is intercepted by home agent in home network a new header is put in front of the old ip header showing the care of address as new destination and home agent as source of the encapsulated packet here the packet is encapsulated and the care of address care of address uh, we have seen earlier that uh, it is a address a temporary address that is assigned to any node which has come from other network so here a new header having the information of uh, as uh, having a extra field of care of address when it is added into that header part since home agent is now the source of the encapsulated packet and care of address is the destination of that encapsulated packet now the foreign agent now foreign agent is now decapsulates the packet coming from this tunnel after encapsulating the packet comes from this tunnel through internet and at the end of tunnel he, it finds that there is care of address so now foreign agent receives that packet and it decapsulates the packet what is decapsulation is that is it removes the additional header and forwards the original packet with corresponding node as source and mobile node as destination to the packet while uh, where, uh, sorry while uh, foreign agent decapsulate the packet coming from the home agent now it becomes as original it was like uh, it was coming from cn directly and mobile node have to receive it so mobile node doesn't know uh, it has no knowledge of what ha what happening in between like what it has been tunneled it has been encapsulated and it has been decapsulated so mobile node has no knowledge of what happened in between uh, it it is seen to it that it is directly coming from the correspondent node and mobile node then received it from the foreign agent here we are seeing that correspondent node is sending packet to the mobile node but sending packets from mobile node to the corresponding node is much simpler because the ml that is mobile node sends the packet as usual with its own fixed ip address as source and correspondent nodes address as destination here the router with the foreign agent acts as a default router and forwards the packet in the same way as it would do for any other node in the foreign network here the data is coming from foreign network to correspondent node and and what the ppt is all about that correspondent node is sending the packet to that mobile node and when it is in home network but when it is in home, its foreign network then correspondent node sends it to the home agent and home agent by encapsulating it and encapsulates it and it's, it tunnels it to the care of address where foreign agent decapsulates it and transfer it to mobile node so it's it's all about how an ip packet is delivered uh, since we left some terms like tunneling encapsulation and decapsulation earlier so now we will discuss them so what is tunneling tunneling also known as port forwarding is the transmission of data intended for use only within a private usually corporate network through a public network this is a private network home network is a private network and that other foreign network is a public network so in such a way that the routing nodes is in the public network are unaware that the transmission is part of a private network 
So tunneling is what? Tunneling is generally done by encapsulating the private network data. What we have done here, we uh, the packet coming from the correspondent node came to the home agent and then home agent encapsulated it. So encapsulated, uh, so in uh, the, here home agent performs encapsulation of the private network data and protocol information within the public network transmission unit so that the private network protocol information appears to the public network as data here um, home agent adds a care of address to the uh, to the field it is an extra field care of address which is added in the which is added in the main ip address uh, main ip packet tunneling also uh, tunneling allows the use of the internet which is a public network to convey data on behalf of a private network so it is it was all about tunneling what is tunnel tunneling now encapsulation so what is encapsulation uh, we have done here encapsulation so encapsulation is the mechanism of taking a packet consisting of packet header and data and putting it into the data part of a new packet means uh, we are we were getting up an ip packet directly from ca to home agent now a new data packet is created in which uh, the old information of ip packet is there and the new information is uh, extra information care of address is there in that new packet so this whole information is encapsulated in a single packet now it is tunneled through this tunnel and what is decapsulation so decapsulation is nothing but the it's the reverse operation taking a packet out the data part of another packet it's called in decapsulation it means whatever packet we encapsulated uh, we remove that extra data field that, that is care of address and the original packet uh, which is sent by a correspondent node uh, is uh, it's decapsulated by foreign agent as original packet and that packet is sent to the mobile node so mobile node uh, thinks that uh, that packet is directly coming from the correspondent node so it was all about how mobile ip packet delivery works uh, when the node mobile node is in its home network and when mobile node is in foreign network thank you